do 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 Aha, success! But how? Ladies and gentlemen, it's tutorial time. First, search for ControlNet. Go to the GitHub for Automatic 1111. Get the repository URL. Copy. Go to your Stable Diffusion UI. Go to the Extensions tab. Go to Install from URL. Paste what you copied into here. And press Install. Once that's done, go to the Install tab. Hit Apply and Restart UI. Go to the ControlNet section. And open it. And we are now ready. But before we start, we need some control net models. I like using something like the Safe Tensors version, which you can find on Hugging Face or something similar. If you look at the files, there are various models you can play with. I recommend using the Canny model first. Once that's downloaded, go to your Stable Diffusion Web UI installation directory, go to Extensions, ST Web UI Control Net, Models, and paste it in here. Back to the UI. Hit refresh next to the model dropdown. Open it and select Canny. Set the preprocessor to Canny. I'm going to have Bocci here as the subject of our experiment. Make sure you check Enable. Leave all the settings at their defaults for now and hit Generate. I added in a few basic prompts to spice up the image. And you'll get something like this. And you can click on the next image. As you can see, it's extracted the basic structure and kept it as it applied the prompts. I encourage you to download and experiment with more models. My favourite one is Scribble, because you can scroll down and hit create blank canvas. Go to the image and draw. Beautiful. Wait, uh, Let's reduce the weight a little bit and turn on Scribble mode. Improve my sketch a little bit. Yes, success! The proportions look a little bit off, but you get the general idea. There's actually many more things you can do with these control net models. I look forward to showing you in my upcoming videos.